How can science tell us what T-Rex really ate? To answer this question, Dr. Mugino Kubo decided to ask the key witness till present today, their teeth. Professor Mugino is a vertebrate morphologist with a vast experience in studying evolution, especially the relationship between ecology and morphology. She began her career studying sika deer in Japan. After collecting and analyzing several hundred deer skulls, she was able to clarify the relationship between ecology and dental morphology, which can be used to determine the diet of animals. Specifically, she uncovered a link between the wear marks left on teeth surfaces of deer and their diet. Along with her husband, dinosaur researcher Dr. Tai Kubo, Mugino then began studying the wear marks on dinosaur teeth preserved as fossils. In 2020, German researcher Dr. Daniela Winkler joined her lab and they embarked on a project to determine the diets of dinosaurs by analyzing tooth wear. They obtained dental molds of dinosaurs in Europe, China, North and South America and imaged tooth surfaces using confocal microscopy. Back in Tokyo, it was time to unravel the mystery. To do this, the research group needed a modern-day comparison reference. And because of their shared heritage, alligators were chosen as the best candidates. The team collected data from wild crocodile specimens in natural history museums and conducted feeding experiments on reared alligators on different diets, such as rats, fish and plants. They put the alligator teeth under the microscope to compare where, before and after the feeding experiment and were able to identify marks left by different foods on teeth. With the help of these results, Mugino's team hoped to define the food habits of dinosaur species, including T-Rex. But what role did Mountain Software play in all of this? For this type of research, the software is particularly useful. It provides tools for 3D data correction, like removal of gross tooth curvature, removal of measurement noise using spatial filters, and others. But uniquely, it also includes features for scale-sensitive analysis. This is particularly useful for dental microwave texture analysis. At present, the study has already identified previously unknown eating habits among dinosaurs. For example, that young dinosaurs did not have the same diet as full-grown ones. The wear of their teeth suggests that they fed more frequently on carcasses. With all these new advances in the correlation between dental wear and dietary behavior, we can only assume that there's much left to be uncovered about our extinct friends.